James Bond is James the Wine Guy, another outstanding Napa Valley Merlot, so stay tuned. So here we go, Charles Krug Napa Valley Merlot, 2011 vintage. Now I love the 150th anniversary uh, graphic here, so 150th anniversary harvest. And uh, this is one of their, uh, I think this is the most um, bottlings they do of any particular wine. So the Merlot is the most popular of their bottlings. 1861 is proudly announced here on the side as well. And it's uh, owned by the Peter Mondavi families, which is, you know, the Mondavi families own this winery for quite some time. So it's a really great historical uh, winery. In my opinion, it, it just needs more, um, I, I don't think it gets due credit. I think it's the best way of saying that in terms of this great provenance, great history, and great wines that are being produced now by uh, the Peter Mondavi family. So this is a wine that is mainly Merlot. I'll tell you the breakdown here in a moment. So I'll show you the back panel. One of the rare days in San Francisco where it's extremely bright, which is really great. Um, personally, I'm not used to it because it's always overcast and great, but you know what? I'll take any sunshine I can get. Now this wine is 83% Merlot, 8% Cabernet Sauvignon, 4% Petit Syrah, 3% Malbec, 1% Petit Verdot. Now it spends 18 months in a combination of French and American oak. This is a 13.7% ABV wine. And uh, this is a really, I think it's a very unusual um, Merlot, not because uh, the, the you know other varieties, I don't taste a lot of Merlot uh, that has this really interesting combination of uh, you know the Bordeaux varieties uh, in addition to the Merlot of course. Uh, but Petit Syrah is also added to this which is uh, I think that also uh, California experience of uh, wine. So um, Petit Syrah I think adds some color to it. Uh, you know it's so influential uh, but it really I think ultimately when you add all these varieties together I'm not really picking up just Petit Syrah but I think I'm picking up a really great combination of varieties that are, are really harmonizing quite well together. So first scent characteristics, flavor profile and then the point score. Uh, really beautiful, captivating wine. Uh, I think just on the scent characteristics here, uh, coming out to be a very rich Merlot. And as I like to say, we live in the best of Merlot times. And that's a great thing. I think I'm tasting some beautifully, you know, amazingly crafted Merlot that, uh, you know, probably wouldn't have been tasting a decade ago. I think uh, winemakers are really, um, you know, upping the game in terms of what Merlot can be and, uh, you know, just really outstanding bottlings that we're getting today. So on this uh, gorgeous scent characterization, mmm. Notes of leather, juniper wood pile, pine cone, black cherry, and spice rack. So here we go, I'll take a taste and give the flavor characteristics next. Mm. So flavor characteristics of black cherry, hint of wild strawberry, chocolate, mint, bay leaf, marjoram, lavender, and cardamom. I give this one a 9.2 out of my 10.0 scale. Now, if you like this video review, please give a like right here. Also, share this video. And uh, please give uh, any questions, comments, and list your favorite uh, Merlot, Napa Valley Merlot and Charles Krug Wines. And if you would be so kind to subscribe to my channel here, I'd appreciate that very, very much. And uh, more to come on this great journey of wine, uh, the best of Merlot times, the best of wine times. And I'm on most social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, and Pinterest. Salute.